In this lecture, we're going to look at the proxy object inside of JavaScript. This allows us to define custom behavior for common operations such as property lookup, assignment, function invocation, and much more. The use case can be everything from simple validation to more complex operations. Let's first have a look at what a proxy is and how we can use it inside of our projects. So the first thing we'll do is to create a proxy. And what we want to do is display an error message whenever an object does not have a specified key. So in order to do that, we have to define a handler function. So let's define a const handler. And that can be equal to a new object. And essentially what we're doing is overriding the get for that object. So let's make ourselves a get function. And inside of here, we have a target and name. The target is our object. So for example, if we had a person and we have the following keys such as age, name, and location, perhaps if we wanted to display an error message when the email address is not present on that key, in this circumstance, the target is the person object. The name is the name of the object key. So that would be the location, the name, the age, and so on. So essentially what we want to do is only return if the name exists inside of the target, and then we can have a ternary operator here and we can say that if it does exist, we want to return the target and the name. But if it does not exist, then instead we want to return not found. And when we return not found, that essentially means anything that doesn't exist, we can return a default value. So now that we have our function that overwrites the standard get method, let's create a new proxy. So let's make a const proxy is equal to a new proxy. And at this point in time, we have to create a proxy with a handler and also a target. So we can start off by supplying a target and I'm simply going to display a empty JavaScript object. The handler that we're going to use will be the handler that we've just created. And now if we simply say proxy dot name, is equal to hello. And we were to console.log that, we would see hello. And that's because the name object exists on our proxy. Because after all, it was initialized as an empty JavaScript object. We've then added the name key and value to this, but we haven't added an age. So if we say proxy.age, we will get not found. So that's how we can overwrite the property lockup. And as a result here, we can then display an error message if it doesn't exist on that object. Perhaps if we were to make a new object such as person, and that person object was to have a name of Paul and an age of 25, we could instead pass through the person object instead of the empty JavaScript object. So let's pass through person. And you'll notice that we now get proxy.age equal to 25. And we get that logged out on the console. But if we did proxy.location, it would of course be not found. So that's a basic example of how we'd get started with a get handler within our proxies. Let's take a look now at how we can validate this information. Perhaps if we want to determine that our proxy.location has to be a string, and for example, it can't be a number, we then want to display an error message. So for now, let's comment all of this out. And we can start off by defining a validator. So let's make a const validator. And that can be a new object similar to our handler. And this time, instead of a get, you can most likely imagine that now we're looking at the set operation. So the set operation takes an object, a property, and a value. 
In certain circumstances, we can also add a receiver here, but we'll not be covering this inside of this video. So when we're setting a property, we want to return a Boolean value. Otherwise, if the property is not as we expect, then we should throw an error. So let's start off by saying if the property, and I'm going to make these fully typed, is equal to location. And as well as that, if it is a number that we're trying to set for this property and key, and that can be found within the value parameter, then we'd like to throw a new error. And I'm simply going to say that the property location must be a string. As in this circumstance, we're overriding the set method. We need to define the default value of what would usually happen when we go to set our object. So we want to say that the object property is equal to the value. And that's essentially saying that our person dot location is equal to, for example, if we said England, then it will be equal to England. Then each time we're using the set handler, we need to return a Boolean. So let's return a true. And this simply lets us know that, of course, we have correctly set the new value. So let's now try out our validator. Let's make a new proxy with a empty JavaScript object and our validator as the handler. We can then say person.location and we'll make that equal to the United Kingdom. Notice that we don't get any error on screen at the moment, but if we were to change this to instead be one, we now get the property location must be a string. If we change this back to England or another country such as Sweden, you'll see that we don't get an error. And if we were to log this out to the console, we'd get the appropriate value. We can check that by saying console.log person.location. And you'll see that we get Sweden. So this is an example of how we can start looking at proxy inside of our JavaScript projects.